Tchau. Assalamu alaikum students. Today it is the second lecture of shear flow. In the previous last lecture I elaborated you the concept of shear flow and based on that concept I explained you the need for non-prismatic sections and the built up sections. Today by through an example I will further elaborate you the concept of shear flow. Now that this example shall be solved in two parts. In first part we will try to find out the shear flow, the shear existing between the horizontal planes. When we are required to build up a section that means that in original section we add up another plates, we add up the other plates or the uh, parts so that we strengthen it to our uh, requirements. Now here if you see the diagram made of the whiteboard that is that this is an original I section which is marked in blue cross section and whereas the cross section whereas the red portion is indicating the additional plate which is to be attached to the original section, I section. So by virtue of the requirement of the situation, the load, this is required that the available section is to be, uh, to be enhanced in, on the flanges with the additional plates. Now these plates are of 30 mm thickness and 30, 300 mm of width whereas the section, the original section, I section is of depth, 4, 800 mm depth and 300 mm of width. Now the formula for this shear flow is, to, uh, is this is now part 1 in which we will find out the shear flow. The formula for this is small q is equal to capital B into capital Q divided by I and its units shall be in MKS system kilonewton per meter. Now I explain all the all the terminologies on the right side one by one and we also find them out. The V is resultant internal shear. Resultant internal shear. And we obtain it from the shear force diagram which you are well conversant with. Say for example <coughs> that if this is the section, L section, idealized L section of this situation and there is a 100 kN of load over here then you would appreciate that our shear force diagram shall be like this with all along ordinate as 50 kN. Right? So this is resultant internal shear force obtained from the shear force diagram. Say this is 50 kN. Now on the right, right hand side in the numerator the second thing is capital Q. Capital Q is the moment of the area to be attached that is hash in red its moment about the neutral axis. So this y bar distance is the distance from the neutral axis and it is 415 millimeters. 
Hence, say if we take all the values in millimeters, then it is Q is equal to A bar multiplied by Y bar. Y bar is this one and A bar is this red shaded area that is 30 millimeters multiplied by 300 millimeters. So A bar shall be equal to 0 0.03 that is the thickness of that plate to be attached multiplied by its width that is 0 0.3 meters and multiplied by 0 0.4 one five. The answer shall be zero point zero zero three seven three five. Let me check three seven three five. Yes, that's right. And its units shall be obviously meter cube because meter 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 thrice multiplied it gets the cube. Now, the I, you are well conversant, is second moment of area and over here, in order to calculate the second moment of area of complete section, that is built up section. So, if we take 860 millimeters as depth and 300 millimeters as width, then BD cube by 12 minus these empty portions this one and this one. So that will give us the second moment of inertia equal to 0 0.00679 meter raised to power 4. So these are the, are the values on the right hand side of the equation. If we place them in the equation we get value of small q equal to say capital B 50 multiplied by capital Q that is 0 0.003735 divided by moment of inertia that is 0 0.00679 this gives us the value equal to 27.5 kilonewton per meter. So this is the force which is making, forcing these two surfaces, these two interacting surfaces to slip, to move and we have to check that movement. So in order to check that movement, if it is moving in the horizontal direction, we have to give it some restriction in the vertical direction and that restriction in the vertical direction shall be bolts over here, over here, over here. These may be bolts, these may be rivets, all right, which do not let these two surfaces to slip and make them, uh, make them unified to unif unify so that they resist the internal forces. So, if we write this in this particular case, 27.5 kilonewton per meter, and we move towards the second part of the example. Now, second part of the example is calcul calculating the spaces between the boards, knowing the design capacity of those bolts. Say, if the design capacity of bolt is, for that formula, first of all, write the formula. Now to find out the spacing, since we are using for this additional plate the red color, so I take the red marker. So this spacing shall be equal to Cf into multiplied by N divided by shear flow that is small shear. Now Cf is nothing but the design capacity. Say if design capacity of one bolt is 
one bolt to be inserted over here if it is 5 kN right and we know that by design we have to take the two bolts on either side of the web right so then the number of bolts is given by n right or over here the number of bolts in one row is r2 one on the right side of the web and one on the left side of the web so placing all these values over here now this is part two finding out the spaces of the given boards so spacing of the given board shall be equal to 5 kN that is the capacity of the board multiplied by two board, number of boards in a one row and divided by 27.5 kN meter that is shear flow and this gives us value equal to 0 0.3645 Three six four meters taken in millimeters shall be zero point sorry shall be three sixty four millimeters are converted into inches it shall be somewhere say fourteen point three one inch uh, maybe if you are very conservative, you may round it down and make it at 12 inches so that it is easier to make the craftsman to understand, right? So that he has to, you simply tell him that provide the bolts or make the holes or fix the bolts along the flange, along the flange on one feet intervals and that is how we can successfully resist this shear by providing bolts of 5 kN capacity each at 12 inches along the flange on both sides of the web. Thank you very much.